Rhonda Pick, Managing Editor of Pick Health Today, and with me is Dr. Daniel Gasho. He's a veterinarian at Four Star Veterinary Service. Daniel, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Well, strep suis has been around for a long time. It now appears to be on the rise. Why is this happening? It may be on the rise. I'm not entirely convinced. It's definitely on the forefront of one of the things that we're focusing on more. And in my opinion, that's a good sign because strep has always been around and it definitely always causes a problem and it causes a significant problem that's worth focusing on. But I consider it one of those background items because strep is admittedly minor compared to a PED outbreak or a PERS explosion on your cell farm. And so if we have fixed enough of the big problems that now we're left, okay, we have time and resources and energy to tackle strep, then that's a good thing. And you combine that with better diagnostics to prove that what's going on is caused by strep. It just means to me that industry-wide, we're doing a better job focusing down on what the actual root source of the problem is instead of just unknown sick pigs. What's the best way to officially diagnose the issue? So unfortunately, on a lot of farms, if you have a pig that is down with what we're going to assume is meningitis, you know, that pig won't last very long. And so it's treat now. And if the treatment that you chose is an appropriate treatment for strep worked, well, then it probably was strep. So it's sort of a result of if the treatment worked is a hindsight diagnosis. But if this is an ongoing problem or more than just a one-off, definitely contact your veterinarian or at least arrange for some way to submit diagnostics, depending on the form of the strep you have. If it's a meningitis, which is usually the one we get the most calls about because that's what's killing pigs, and it's probably a brain sample, which isn't easy to take. And so that's why you probably need some assistance or some guidance on getting that. But it may be lungs if it's a pneumonia problem, or maybe it's joint or some joint fluid if you're getting a lot of swollen joints. But definitely a sample sent off because even your veterinarian can make an educated guess, but, but I can't tell by looking that that is definitely strep because there are other things that cause similar symptoms and signs in all of these different organs and they're treated differently. So that's why it's important to diagnose. When a producer is experiencing strep suis challenges, what are some keys to getting the situation under control? If it's one of those primarily pathogenic streps, we will do what we call put out the fire. I mean, we have strep going on. We need to treat that now, but the bigger picture is where did that come from? How do we keep that from happening again in the future, whether that's change your guilt supplier or without getting into that, try to figure out where it came from. But most strips are not those big, bad outbreak conditions. And so with those, it is, again, figure out what with your husbandry, can you change? Did you maybe start out a little too cold? Did you maybe overstock them a little bit? Should you get them a little older before you wean them? Should you go with pellets first before shocking them with the ground diet. I mean, anything to cut down on that stress, maybe it's humidity. I mean, there's an endless thing, list of things that could play a role with that. And so that's the big picture, but then always immediate treatment because strep will kill a pig very fast. And so on the short term, identifying, catching, and treating very rapidly to cut your losses there. And what are your, the most common treatment protocols that you recommend? So strep is a bacteria. It's not typically a particularly hardy bacteria. A lot of um, drugs or antimicrobials that we have that are licensed for use in swine have a label for strep suis. I mean, a lot of the, the cephalofurs back to the heritage products of penicillin to legal off-label products of ampicillin to you know, I, you could make a list of 10 products that would all work. But what I tell my clients is the most critical thing is fast action. And if you have a late stage strep, also some dexamethasone to buy that pig a few more hours of life for your antimicrobial to actually work. It just goes back to that strep is always there, at least almost always. And it's looking for an excuse to flare up. And so Again, you treat the immediate problem, your pigs are dying. For me, it becomes less of a problem to 
chase the strip and figure out where the strip came from and what do we do to fix the strip in the future? Because if you just remember strip is usually secondary, then we treat the ones that are sick with strep, but we're better off focusing our time or energy to fix the flu or the purge or the other problem. Because without doing anything different on our strep control, if we get those other primary issues under control, surprise, the strep gets better just on its own. So I would say the vast majority is post weaning because that's when this pig has lived its whole life warm, comfortable, on milk, same litter mates, same mom, nothing has changed. And then at a flip of a switch, it's mixed in with a whole bunch of other pigs. It's moved to a new barn. The temperature changed. It's on new feed, probably humidity, probably picked up and handled. I mean, you just slammed 10 stressors onto it or more all at once. And so post weaning, without a doubt, is where we'll see the most flare up of what I'll call normal strep, just strep that's commensal organism that just flared up because the pig's immune system was weakened. Finally, as we wrap up our discussion, what advice would you have as far as top one or two management strategies for producers to keep in mind when they're battling strep suis? This is one that's been around as long as pigs have been domesticated and we haven't knocked it out. And so that alone says that there's not something you're missing that's the, the secret fix. But if you just keep in mind that if you have, I'm going to say bad strip, uh, primary pathogen, extra bad, you know, it's in my fairing house, I'm getting strep in pigs that haven't even weaned yet, then maybe contact your vet and figure out where that came from. Some of those can be eliminated, but your normal strep that you see post weaning in your nursery, if you just focus on all the normal husbandry items to the best of your ability. Usually when strip flares up, it's because one of those areas just got a little bit lax. So that's the main thing. And as always, once it gets past the point where you're keeping up with individual treatments, there are times where whole herd treatment, water medication or something like that is warranted. But the big thing is, if you can head it off before it starts, you'll be miles ahead. So just your basic husbandry, try to keep it from starting. Easier said than done, but that's the answer. So.